Hey everybody and welcome back. So this is the final game of the day here for uh, May 28th, 1908. We have the Cleveland Naps against the Washington Senators once again. Quick look here at the standings and uh, the uh, Naps lost, of course, as you'll recall, the last time they uh, came to Washington just uh, yesterday in 1908 terms. They are tied with the Athletics for first place. We'll see how the uh, Senators do um, uh, against them today. The Browns then a half game behind in the American League and the Red Sox are two games back behind the two tied teams and in the National League, the Giants 30 and 9, playing 769 baseball. They're four up on the Cubs, and everybody else is way back there, and I don't think anyone else is coming back. So we'll just go ahead and jump straight into this one. It's going to be Bill Burns on the mound here, and he will face um, Josh Clark, who's the leadoff hitter for the uh, Naps. And we'll see how this goes. Burns 5 and 2, the record, 2.78 ERA. Clark, however, hitting a 342, good hitter. And the roll is an 11 for a 7. That's a single to right field, and that's how this one starts. So Bill Bradley comes up there. Clark does have the 11. We'll hit and run. That's the big question we always ask, hit and run or bunt. And uh, we just go off the 11 result. And Bradley rolls a 33 for a 7, single to right. Clark goes to third, and that brings up the big man. Here comes Napoleon. Napoleon is a little bit... Uh, Oops, I wanted to check here on Bradley. Napoleon has been a little bit um, uh, disappointing so far this season, hitting 275 with uh, 346 slugging percentage. He's only driven in 15, so we'll see what uh, he can do here for us. And uh, the rule is a 54. That's a fly ball uh, over to right field, and uh, the catch is made there by Clymer. He then throws over to Freeman to double off uh, Bradley, but a run scores. And that makes this a one nothing lead here for the uh visitors and it says it was one nothing for cleveland up now is george stovall nobody on top of the first inning still stovall rolls a 41 for a 28 ground ball to short mcbride has that one throws over two first for the out and we'll go to the bottom of the first inning one nothing it is and it's otis climber here facing bob rhodes rhodes with a seven and two record 2.39 era and 2, uh, 0.202 batted against average. The uh, roll by Climber, 51-4-9. That's a single, and then he's thrown out trying to steal. One away, and here comes Bob Ganley. And his roll, 21 for a 30. Fly ball to left. Clark has that one, two away. Jim Delahanty now, and he rolls a 51-4-8. That's going to be a fly ball to center. Birmingham has that one for the out. We go to the top of the second inning, and it's a one nothing game. Here comes Harry Bemis. Bemis, who's hitting 200, rolls a 34-4-44. There is a little E roll. It ends up being a 13, so that's going to be uh, changed to an 18. That'll be an error on McBride, the shortstop. Bemis safe on first, and uh, here comes Joe Birmingham. Bemis, uh, catcher, but does have an 11, so we will hit and run. Again, that's the rule. Not a fast rule, but that's what I'm playing with. And the rule is a 31 for a 40. That's a ball, and then Bemis is out stealing. So that's what we get for being a little bit aggressive. One away. Birmingham now rolls a 46 for a 27 ground ball to third. Shipka th fields that, throws to first, and there's two away. Here's Bill Hinchman. And his roll, 41 for a 28 ground ball over to short. And it'll be McBride fielding that one, throws over to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the second inning now. It's a one nothing lead for the visiting Naps, and here comes uh, Jerry Freeman. That's why you have to call the Senators the Senators, by the way. Call them the Nats, the Nationals, then you have a problem. The Naps and the Nats. He rolls a 14-4-43, a fly ball to left, and Clark has that one away. George McBride now rolls a 21 for a 30. It's another fly to left. Uh, Clark has that, and there's two away. Here comes Bill Shipka. Shipka rolls a 32 for a 26. It's a ground ball to second, and Napoleon fields that and throws to first, and uh, we go to the top of the third inning. And uh, it's uh, still a one nothing game. Charlie Hickman comes up, right fielder for the Naps, hitting 0-91. How much longer are we going to leave this guy in the lineup? And the rule is 63 for a 30. Fly ball over to left. Gainley's got that one away. And here comes Bob Rhodes. Even Rhodes has more hits than Hickman. And it's a 36 for a 33. Pop up to second baseman Delahanty. There's two gone. And here comes Josh Clark. And Clark rolls a 66 for a zero. Then a 34 for a six. Now there's an outside chance at a home run because of Burns. But this rolls a 45 out of the range. So it will remain a double for Clark. And that'll bring up uh, Bill Bradley. So runner on at second base, top of the third, two out. Bradley's rolls a 46 for a 30. That's a pop-up over to left field. And Gan Gainley's got that one for the out. Go to the bottom of the third inning now, and it's a one nothing lead for the Naps. So it looks like the Naps are um, hitting the cover off the ball, but they only have one run, and welcome to 1908.
Gabby Street hitting 123, rolls a 54, 445. And it's the story of the sinking average as the next roll is a 36 out of the range. Fly ball over to Hickman in right field who has that one away. Clyde Milan comes up now. He's hitting 195, so Street should be hitting 8th. He should be hitting ninth. The rolls a 42 for a 13. There's a strikeout, 2 away. And here comes Bill Burns. See, he's hitting 231. <laughs> In 1908, that's good. He rolls a 45 for a 14, and he gets a walk, the first walk given up by Rhodes. Bob Rhodes cruising through the order and then stumbles across a stumbling block that is shaped to the size of Bill Burns, and here comes Otis Clymer, who has the only hit of the game for the Senators. And he rolls a 22 for a 7. That's a single to right center field, and uh, Burns tries to go over to third with two men out, and he is thrown out by Birmingham. Birmingham to Bradley. And so a little bit aggressive by the pitcher. We go to the top of the fourth inning. I know I can turn that off here in the game, but uh, we'll let that stay on. You need to have your guys thrown out on bases. Here's uh, Napoleon, who rolls a 46 for a 13. First strikeout uh, rung up by Bill Burns, one away. George Stovall now rolls a 53 for a 19. That's changed to a 22, and that's going to be a ground ball to first base. Freeman fields it, flips over to Burns, covering the bag, two away. Here's Harry Bemis, and he rolls a 15 for an 11. That's a single and then a stolen base right away. So that brings a Birmingham runner on a second base, one nothing lead, and he rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a pop-up over to right field. Easy play there for Clymer. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, and my dog is going nuts. It's a uh, one nothing lead still. Here comes Bob Gainley. And he rolls a 43 for a 29. Come back or over to Rhodes. Rhodes throws to first. There's one away. Jim Delahanty up now. Roll is a 41 for a 28, ground ball to short. That's fielded there by uh, Hinchman, who throws to first, and there's two away. Two away, and here comes Jerry Freeman. And he rolls a 25 for an 8. It's a fly ball over to center field, and uh, that will be caught there by Birmingham for the out. We go to the uh, top of the fifth inning. Still a one nothing ball game still. A close game. It's still 1908. And here comes Hinchman. Only six hits total. Hinchman, though, rolls an 11 for a 0. That'll break that. And then it's a 41 for an 8. Single to left center field for Hinchman, and that'll bring up Charlie Hickman, and he has orders to bunt. No question about it. And the rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a bunt to the left side. Third baseman Shipka fields that and throws over to first for the out. Hinchman's now in storing position, and that means Bob Rose can swing away with his mighty 107 average. And he rolls a 43 for a 29. That's a ground ball to first. Freeman fields it, flips over to Burns covering, but Hinchman moves to third. Two away, here comes Josh Clark. Clark is two for two with a single and a double. His rules a 42 for a 14, so Burns didn't want to have a piece of him. He puts Clark over on at first base. And it brings up Bill Bradley now. Two outs, top of the fifth. And Bradley's rules a 15, four, and 11. That's a single to left field. That'll send Clark to second, and that scores another run. Two nothing the lead for Cleveland. And up comes Napoleon, the big man, who's grounded into a double play and struck out. His roll 13 for a 36, changed to a 40. That's a little ground ball over to Delahanty, who throws over to Freeman for the out at first. And we go now to the uh, bottom of the fifth inning. It's a 2-0 lead here for Cleveland, and here comes uh, George McBride. Two hits is all for the Senators. McBride rolls a 45 for a 14, and that's a walk. That'll bring up Shipka, Bill Shipka. Hitting 254. I'm not. I don't suppose McBride has any speed. Now he not really. We have tens, but no elevens. So we will bun with Shipka. It takes a second for me to sort of register what to do. But since it's 1908, we'll bun. Rolls a 26 for a 27, and that's two foul balls. So he'll swing away now. And roll 23 for a 32. Fly ball over to right field. That's uh, fielded easily by Hickman, and uh, there's one away. Gabby Street now, and he will bun definitely. Rolls a 65 for a 35. There's a little E roll. He may be saved by the bell here. Now it's a 52. And so it's a bad bunt. It's a bunt over to the catcher, Bemis, who picks it up, throws over to the shortstop, Hinchman, and they're able to double up Gabby Street at first as it goes back to Napoleon. That tells you how slow he was. So we go to the top of the sixth inning. It's a 2 0 lead here for the Naps, and the Senators are looking pretty bad. Here's George Stovall. There's roll 54, 445. There's a little E roll, and it's a 33 out of the range. Fly ball over to right field, and a climber has that one for the out, one away. Harry Bemis now. He rolls a 52 for a 27. It's a ground ball over to third base, and Shipka fields that and throws to first, and there's two away. Straighten up my uh, dice roller here. Two away, and here's Birmingham. He rolls an 11 for a 7, single to right field. 
And so that'll bring up now Bill Hinchman. Hit number seven for the Naps, and they're uh, starting to hit the ball off of Bill Burns, that's for sure. The roll from Hinchman, though, 52 for 27. Ground ball to third base. Shipka flips that one over to the second baseman, Delahanty, for the out. And so we go now to the uh, bottom of the sixth inning, and it's a uh, 2 nothing lead here for the uh, Naps, and that'll bring up Clyde Milan. Clyde Milan, the number eight hitter, hitting 194. He's 0 for 1, struck out last time. Rolls a 46 for a 27, ground ball over to third, and Bradley feels it throws to first. There's one away. Bill Burns comes up there now. Walked last time. Goal is a uh, 25 for a, uh, a 12 for a 25, I'm sorry. And it's a ground ball over to second. Uh, LaJoey feels that and throws to first. Two away, and here comes Otis Climber. Climbers roll 42 for a 13 and strikes out. That only the second strikeout so far for Rhodes. And so that takes us up to the uh, top of the seventh inning, and it's a 2 nothing ball game. Here now is Charlie Hickman. Burns is great as lowered. We'll see if that hurts much. The roll from Hickman is a 66 for a 0, and then another 66 for a 1, and there's a home run for Charlie Hickman. All people to give up a home run to. And that'll bring up Bob Rhodes. So the number 8 hitter hits a home run. Rhodes comes up. And rolls a 55, 4, and 8. And there's a single to the left center. And Burns may not be long in this world. It'll bring up Clark, who's 2 for 2 with a walk. And his roll is a 36 for a 33. Pop up to the left side. And Shipka's got that. One away. Here's Bill Bradley. Rolls a 65 for a 35. And uh, that will be a little E roll. 35. And so it's going to be a pop up over to uh, the catcher street. And he's got it for the out. Two away. Up now is uh, Napoleon LeJoey. Two away. He's over three. He rolls a 31, 4, and 8. And uh, it's going to be a single left center field, but um, the runner will be thrown out of third base. It's a good throw over there from Milan over to Shipka for the out. And so we go now to the bottom of the seventh inning. And it's a 3 0 uh, lead for the Naps. Up comes Bob Gainley, number two hitter for Washington. Bob's rolls a 14 for a 43, and there's a, a little E roll. It's a 54 out of the range. It's a fly ball over to left field, and Clark has that for the out. One away. Jim Delahanty now rolls a 43 for a 29. Come back here, back to Rhodes. Throws to first. Two away. And here's Jerry Freeman, and he rolls a 26 for a 27. Ground ball this time to the third baseman, Bradley. He throws to first, and that does it. We go to the top of the eighth. It's a 3 0 lead there for the Naps. George Stovall leads this off. Rolls a 53 for a 19. That's going to be an error on the third baseman, Shipka. So it's grounded to him, and he picks it up and drops it. Second error of the ball game on the Senators, and that'll bring up George Stovall. Roll for Stovall, 63 for a 30. Fly ball to left, and Gainley's got that one away. I'm sorry, for Bemis. Stovall on at first base. I'm getting myself confused. Here's uh, Joe Birmingham. He rolls a 13 for a 22, and he's hit by the pitch, and Burns is really having some struggles, and I think we're going to just go ahead and take him out here um, uh, before he completely falls apart on us. Uh, I mean, who are we going to put in? We could put in some really, really bad pitchers, but I think we'll put in Burke Keeley. Not necessarily allow this one to get totally carried away. Keeley comes in. 66 innings pitch, 5 and 3 record, 1.77 ERA. Roll for Hinchman's at 26 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to third. It's going to go Shipka over to uh, Delahanty and on to Freeman at first. And so he comes in and gets the double play. And we go now to the bottom of the eighth inning. And it's a 3 uh, nothing lead still for the Naps. Here's George McBride. He rolls a 15 for a 10. That's a single to center. And that'll bring up Shipka. Shipka 0 for 2 today. Rolls an 11 for a 0. Then it's a 31 for a 2, and that's going to be hit down the right field line, and that's going to end up being a triple for Shipka. That'll score uh, the runner McBride, and here come the Senators. So a 3 to 1 score, and up comes Gabby Street. Street, how many 13s does he have? See, this is what I hate about the uh, sacrifice system of this game 1 2. So I think that we're okay bunting. And it rolls a 46 for a 29. And Shipka's able to get back to third, and we'll try this again. Roll this time is a 24 for a 13, and uh, he's a dead duck at the plate. So uh, one away. Street's still up there with two strikes now, and his roll is a 46 for a 29. Come back to Rose, who throws the first two away. 
Up comes Clyde Milan. And he'll roll a 44, 4, and 8. There's another base hit, and that'll bring up Keeley, and we'll take him out. Keeley comes out of this game. It'll be uh, Pickering who goes into a hit for him. Milan on at first, two away, and the roll 32, 4, 26. This is a ground ball over to second. Uh, LeJoey flips that over to Hinchman for the force out at the bag. Before we go on, we will change pitchers. Now we can start putting in some of these uh, really bad guys. So Casey Patton's going to come in. And uh, that takes us up to the top of the ninth inning. And uh, it's a 3-1 to one lead for the Naps. Here comes Patton, who's thrown three innings. No earned runs allowed. First roll for Hinchman's a 62 for a 12. And that's going to be a single because of Patton's poor grade. And so he's on at first. We'll bring up uh, Bob Rhodes, and he's going to bunt. Roll 54 for a 45, bunt over to the left side. Shipke has it and throws over to first for the out. Uh, Hinchman goes to second, one away. Josh Clark now rolls a 12 for a 24, and that's going to be a pop-up. Good pitch there by Patton, and uh, McBride has that one, two away, and here comes Bill Bradley. He rolls a 43 for a 29, so it works. It's a ground ball to Freeman who flips over to Patton for the out, and so we'll go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Here comes uh, Otis Clymer, the leadoff hitter for the Senators. Two for three today. Two singles. Rolls a 36 for a 30. It's a fly ball to Clark. One away. Clark's had a lot of uh, putouts there and left. One away, and here comes Bob Gainley. He'll roll 22, 4, and 8. And that's a single left center. Hit number 6 for the Senators, and that'll bring up Jim Delahanty. Gainley does have an 11, so we will hit and run. The rolls a 14 for a 43. It's a fly ball to left. Clark has that one. Gainley gets back to first. Two away, and here comes Jerry Freeman, the last chance. He rolls a 55, 4, and 8, and that's another single left center field. So runners on the corners now. The theoretical tying run is at the play. George McBride, I'm not sure if you'd expect him to do much. He has the possibility to tie it looking at his card. And his roll is a 42, 4, a 23. We're not going to have this game called by rain. <laughs> Changed to a 40, and uh, that's going to be a... Uh, Attempted stolen base, and uh, the runner on a first base is uh, thrown over to is thrown out at second, and that'll do it. I'm not sure what the delay continues thing means there at the end. Whatever, and so that's the end of your ball game. The Naps win this one three to one, whether we took the rain delay or not. Hope you enjoyed that one. That was a pretty quick one, and uh, we'll talk with you again tomorrow. Bye bye.